In today's business case study, let's learn about Google Pay. In our previous business case studies, we've learned all about this payment gateway platforms like Paytm and PhonePay. We've already discussed a detail about PhonePay in two business case studies and about Paytm. If you have not watched a video on Paytm and PhonePay, then link is in the description. So let's discuss all about Google Pay today. Google Pay is the second largest UPI payment gate platform after phone pay in India. Do you know Google Pay was called as Taze when it was been introduced in the market. Most of the people didn't had that trust that it is a Google payment gateway transaction where you can trust upon. That's the reason why Google had changed Taze to the name Google Pay because of which it has become the second largest payment gateway platform under UPI in India today after phone pay. Like phone pay which has its parent company which is Flipkart and Flipkart now which is owned by Walmart, Google Pay is being exclusively owned by Google. Let's discuss all about Google Pay business case study today. Before we move forward, if you're somebody who have come to our channel new, ensure that you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon and select all under bell icon so that you do not miss on any of these business case studies. So let's get started. Google Pay is a single platform where handling UPI money transfers, QR code payments, phone pay recharge, cashless transaction and bill payments are being made. Google Pay was started in the year 2011 and it had started initially as a Google wallet, same like similar to the Paytm wallet. This online payment platform changed its name to Android Pay on September 11, 2015. Then the app was launched as Taze before finalizing Google Pay's name on August 28, 2018. Google Pay is an online wallet come digital payment app developed by Google. The Google powered online payment platform helps users to make countless payments and purchases online through Android phones, tablets, and smart watches. If you're somebody who's looking to do an MBA, or if you're somebody who come from a technical background and wants to enhance your skills in management, then this is for you. In India, a normal MBA costs about four to five lakhs rupees in a normal MBA college. And the rate of placement in this kind of average MBA colleges is about only 5% to 8%. Whereas the ecosystem of startup companies in India and the companies which are looking for talented people doesn't require these average MBA college people with them. Hence, if you want to enhance your skills and want to raise more than 50% of your salary, then make sure that you register for a free practical MBA webinar where you get to network with lots of professionals who come from a different background and you will know exactly where you got to do a practical MBA. The link is in the description. Interestingly, from 2018 to 2021, the app was very user friendly and which was user friendly to an extent that it was utilized in 42 countries. This is where Google Pay is different from Phone Pay because Google Pay has established itself a name in 42 countries, whereas Phone Pay has its limited regional market like India, though Phone Pay is a market leader and Google Pay is a just next to the market leader Phone Pay. Google Pay is second in the market. This online payment app led to over 37.5% of the total share in 2021 with a complete transaction worth rupees 2.74 lakh crores in India. Google Pay has more than 10 million merchants across 19,000 PIN codes facilitating 15 billion transactions annually spanning over 220 million users. Google Pay is most popular in 2022 with more than 8 lakhs websites, that is 800,000 websites, use Google Pay as a medium for transaction and 20% of the payments takes place through mobile in Google Pay transactions. If you want to know a little more about Google Pay, so let me tell you that there were Indian founders who founded Google Pay and let's know more about them as well as how did Google Pay got started. Google Pay was established as Android Pay and was released as Google in 2000. 
15. The technology of soft card influenced the modern technology of Android Pay. Then on September 18, 2017, Google launched Taze Payment app, changing the UPI system. Later, Taze was rebranded with a new name, Google Pay, on August 28, 2018. As per Sujit Narayanan, the co-founder of Google Pay, it was during that time when he was working on Google Taze that he and his teammates realized that a customer's financial journey expands beyond online payments. In addition, there was a requirement to focus on the millennial in India and provide them with the fast and efficient medium to handle their finances. The duo finally decided on a product known as Google Pay, which would redefine financial services for the millennials. Now let's look into the business and revenue model of Google Pay in a very quick way. Interesting fact here is the phone pay, which is a market leader in this domain, is charging people on the transaction of the mobile recharge. Whereas Google Pay is still not charging anything and gives customer to enjoy without paying any transaction fee. Google Pay does not take any charge from the user using Google Wallet. Instead, Google Pay helps its users send money to banks for free and directly. Earlier, the company had planned on adding around 2.9 charges, that is 2.9% charges upon topping up the wallets through debit cards, which has been eliminated now. As an online payment platform, Google Pay collects its income through transaction-based charges containing online and apps payments from merchants and banks. Advertisements and product offer within this app are some other revenue sources it also earns through its collected user data. In 2017, Google Pay observed a rise in monthly active users recorded at 67 million in 2021. The same was estimated at 150 million. So that was all about the business and revenue model how Google Pay is projecting itself by not charging anything from its customers that is we at the end of the day consumers who are enjoying the transactions without any transaction fees whether it is even to the mobile recharge who knows in future similar to its market leader that is phone pay which is charging for even a mobile recharge might be applicable even in google pay likewise they have their future plans now currently has discussed google pay is also getting money from the advertisements the advertisement what you see in today's day that is that they are giving you offers on the transaction that they are appealing you to go and buy and purchase those goods and products from its partners so Definitely, there will going to be a revenue model stream where in future Google Pay will start charging for its transactions. Let's look into the competitors of Google Pay. The top competitors of Google Pay are Phone Pay, Paytm, Amazon Pay and Stripe. Amazon Pay is a platform for online transaction. It is like Google Pay in terms of features and functionality. Paytm is an Indian e-commerce payment system. This online transaction app provides various services through its ecosystem. A few are bill payments, e-wallets, phone recharge, and an online shopping store. PhonePay is one of the leading payment apps in India. It lets people use UPI, BHIM, debit cards, and credit cards to make payments and recharge phones. So, likewise, we've already discussed and have made the business plans detail of Google Pay's competitors like Paytm and PhonePay also going to make another video on Google Pay with little more details about its expansion. Now before that, let's discuss a little bit about its future plans. Future plans of Google Pay. Google Pay plans to focus on making Google Pay a multi-purpose online wallet by extending the range of passes, cards and tickets that the service supports. In addition, they are working with cryptocurrency providers to discover digital cards that will help users to store crypto assets but still make payments in standard currencies. The company also plans to add more payment features to its shopping and search services like personalized discounts and customer loyalty cards in the search results directly. So these are the future plans of Google Pay to make more revenue. We're going to come up with another Google Pay business case studies. So stay tuned and ensure that you have subscribed to our channel and hit the bell icon and select all so that you do not miss on any of these business case studies. If you have still not registered for our free practical MBA webinar, then the link is in description where you are going to learn more about how exactly a practical MBA will help you to uplift your career and get more than 50% hike on your current salary.
I hope you've liked this video. If you have liked this video, do not forget to like and subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and select all under notification so that you do not miss on any of these business case studies. So before we end this video, we wanted to talk to you directly about something. That is, we really want to know how many of you are willing to listen to us in language Hindi. Because we've already got many comments of requests where people are requesting us to make videos in Hindi. And if we are getting more such requests, we would love to make videos in Hindi. But however, we do not want to disappoint the current audience that is you who have subscribed our channel and watching our video and who would love to watch us in English. And if you're somebody who is coming down from South India and would love to serve you in the same channel in English. Hence, we request you to leave a comment on our comment section and let us know exactly what is your choice that should we continue our videos in English in the same channel or should we make a separate channel for Hindi. I hope you've liked this video and I hope you'll give us a suggestion. If you've liked this video and if you have one who have come to our channel new, ensure that you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon and select all. Thank you.